Hey what is going on everyone, this is Wicked and tonight I will show you a simple and straightforward tutorial on how to flash a custom kernel on your Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus. So what is the purpose of flashing a different kernel? Most of the time people flash a new kernel because of the bad battery life they get on a stock one or maybe even on a custom one. Things like that can happen. Or maybe they are just not satisfied with the amount of CPU, GPU, input, output, customization options. Or they just want something new. There are many various reasons related to this topic. Not all kernels are the same, some of them are performance orientated, some of them are balanced and some of them are mostly close to stock. The process of installing a custom kernel on your Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus is somehow simple to understand and apply. The first thing you'll need to have is TWRP recovery. If you don't know what TWRP recovery is or how to flash it, check the video in the car section and after you successfully installed it, come back to this tutorial. The first thing you'll need to know is that flashing a new kernel will erase roots on your device. So if you want to root back, you'll need to make sure the kernel you'll flash comes with routing methods, SuperSU or Magisk integrated, by checking the XDA thread and instructions of it. If not, you'll need to flash the SuperSU zip or Magisk zip afterwards. Here's a list of the current updated kernels with all the prerequisites. I'll try and keep a list updated in the description with the kernels where you'll need to flash root after if you want to have root access on your device. And of course, I will split this tutorial into two parts so that there won't be any misleadings. In the first one, I'll show you how to install a kernel which already comes with routing methods integrated and the second one I will show you how to install a kernel which will require a separate zip in order to f install root. Of course, obviously, before flashing a new kernel, you'll need to download a new kernel and or the optional routing zips and place them on your internal storage. So go into the description and check the ones you like the most on the XDA thread. All links are listed there. Also in the comment section you'll find a pinned post with the timestamps so you won't waste your time if you want to get to the subject. Now to the first installation process. You'll have to boot into TWRP then go to install section and select your desired kernel. In this tutorial I will go with notorious kernel. Swipe to install and particularly on this kernel you'll need to get into Aroma installer. On other kernels you'll just see a script which is running in the background, but we'll just get back to it later. In Aroma Installer, I just have to select whether I want root or not. As I told you in that list, this kernel comes with this ability. I went for Magisk root, then the kernel was installed. After you flash a new kernel, I recommend wiping cache Dalvik and then you are safe to reboot your device. Take in mind that if you cleared cache or Dalvik, the booting process will take up to 7 minutes. Now to the second installation process. Again, while into TWRP recovery, go to install and select your kernel. This time I will go with Pikaka. After the installation was complete, your phone will have no root installed. So it's up to you whether you want root or not. If you need root, you'll have to flash a rooting zip. I recommend Magisk 13 beta zip. So go and select the Magisk zip and flash it like you did with the kernel. Now you'll have root. Wipe again down the cache and click reboot. Take in mind that after you boot it up into your device, the kernel you flash may require an app which will control it. Check the XDA thread for that. In my case, Notorious kernel is controlled by the Mtwix app and Pikaka kernel by Synapse. If you don't know what uh, the effect of a modified value into either of the controlling apps will be, stay away from that value. Playing with the options you don't know about is dangerous. I'll try to make a video about all the settings you can customize in the future, so make sure to subscribe to my channel to be updated with the latest news. Also, if you want to say hello, you can follow me on Instagram at Let's Get Wicked. That was the review for today. I hope you like it. If you did, click that thumbs up button and subscribe right down to my channel. Until next time, take care. Wicked is out. Bye bye.